Hey everyone, welcome back to new video and in this video we are gonna see how to use light mode and dark mode color within our Kotlin multi-platform projects. Let's get started. So for that first thing first open up your shared source common main. Common main we cannot use Swift UI things in it. We cannot use Jetpack Compose things in it. For that first thing first if you want to expose this color in both platform like for Android for iOS. We're gonna create here few kind of interfaces and write its implementation for Android and iOS main within the Android main and iOS main directory. First, I'm gonna create here a platform color naming interface and in this interface, we have a function naming to hex because hex is a type of long and we can very easily use long within our common main directory. Now it's time to create here an expect class and the class name is application color make sure it's an expect class and in this we have hex type is long which uses our platform color so overwrite function to hex uh, return type of this function is long okay so now it's time to write its actual so first i'm gonna write for android main so in this hex i'm gonna simply return my hex value which is coming from here within our constructor make sure to use your private variable just below to it i'm gonna create a function which will convert this hex value into a color so naming is to color return type is color make sure this color is coming from android x compose ui graphics return this color use your hex convert this thing in a form of integer so we are done with the actual for android main now we're gonna do the same thing for ios so ios main and within here we want to do the same thing return hex values make sure to use your private variable so that it is accessible now just below to it i'm gonna paste here a function and after that i'm gonna explain you what that function will do so this is the function and it returns a ui color which is platform specific as you can see over here now in this ui color we have three things red, red channel green channel and blue channel and lastly the alpha so this logic is used to pull the red channel from our hex code similarly this logic is used to pull the green channel from our hex code similarly this will do the blue things and this last parameter which is alpha is used to provide the information about the transparency of our color all right so we are done with the actuals now in this theme i'm going to create here an interface and the interface name is material theme color palette in our material theme color palette we have few colors and i'm going to use the same naming convention which material 3 uses in their color scheme because i want here consistency open your compose app source kotlin we have here app control click on this material theme and we have here material theme dot color scheme just control click on the color scheme and this is the color naming convention which material 3 uses so i'm gonna simply copy this stuff and paste within our material theme color palette just replace every color with app color gonna write its implementation for dark mode and for light mode so to do that i'm gonna create here two objects first we have dark color palette use material theme color palette and just override everything i'm gonna copy paste this whole color because i have already prepared this color information next we're gonna create here an object for light colors so light material colors use your material theme color palette and override everything so this is my light material color now it's time to create here a file naming ui type and in this we have an expect function is dark mode and return type is boolean it's time to write its actual so first we're gonna write it for android main we have a variable naming ui mode and this ui mode information is coming from our resources get system configuration ui mode if my ui mode and we have configuration flag and 
we're gonna use here flag UI mode night mask if it is equivalent to configuration UI mode night yes that means we are in the dark mode now we want to write actual for iOS main so open up your UI type hover over to expect create miss actual for iOS main and in this we want to simply return UI screen dot main screen we have here trait collection and in this we have user interface style if it is equivalent to UI user interface style dot UI user interface style dark that means we are in the dark mode next I'm gonna create here an object naming KMP theme and in this KMP theme we have a function get palette a return type of this function is material theme color palette we'll check if it is a dark mode on that scenario we will return dark material color else we will return light material colors simply use return so we are done with this uh, theming stuffs in our shared common main directory now it's time to use it so for that open up your application.kt and in this column i'm gonna introduce here background color a requirement of background is color so i'm using my kmp theme get palette and this palette will give us the implementation of material theme color palette and we have a lot of color over here and we are particularly interested in the primary container use two color so this two color eventually converts that hex value into color and this color is coming from our jetpack compose library so that's the reason why it is acceptable within our background okay so let's execute it as you can see this is the background color and let me check which mode right now i mean open your settings just search for dark okay so we are currently in the light mode now when i change it into dark okay and re-execute it as you can see the color changes the background color changes so yes it is working for android now it's time to check for ios so for the ios we gonna create here an extension because first we cannot use a ui color directly within our ios application so let me open this ios app within our xcode now in this ios application i'm gonna create here a new file and the file name is color plus extension so we're gonna create here an extension function so first let me import shared module and we have here extension over application color within this we have a function naming to color and the return type of this thing is color and this color is coming from swift ui so make sure to import it create an instance of color and in this color we are gonna pass our ui color use self dot to ui color and that's it now we can use colors within our content view so open your content view and here i'm gonna use now in this i'm gonna use my background color so background use kmp theme make sure to import this shared so we are currently importing shared in this kmp theme we want to use shared and this shared will have get palette and in this palette we have a lot of information and uh, we gonna use primary container color and use at the end to color so this two color is an extension function that we have created over here okay so let me just build this project for ios okay so we do not have primary container color open your material theme color palette and use primary container open x code use primary container okay just rebuild it okay so this time it works now i'm gonna execute my application all right so this is the dark mode color let me use this 
background color after the frame re-execute it okay so this is my dark mode color now I'm gonna change the mode so for that open your settings search for dark dark appearance and close it re-execute our application as you can see the color changes for light mode